This is CWI with your house, Benjamin Towels. Today we're talking about a whole lot of a whole lot of shit. It's, it's the same shit we're gonna get into every day, Pinky. But today's shit, let's talk, <laughs> we're gonna talk a little bit about COVID because the CDC recently went and done did some shit. But let's look at this first. Let's remind us where we've come from. Jason Alexander, also known as George from Seinfeld, who hasn't literally done shit since Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld hasn't done shit either, but he's done arguably more. In World War II, Londoners were asked to black out their homes at night so the enemy bombers wouldn't see the lights and know where to target. No Londoner said, it's my right to have lights on because others would say, your light on endangers us. Substitute light for mask, now argue. So the first thing that I have an issue with is now argue. Are you just trying to get people to argue? What's your goal, Jason? Are you upset that nobody talks about you anymore? So you think if you can get a bunch of people to hate on each other and fuel a discussion in your thread, then somehow that'll make you seem relevant? It's, it's not a good look, Jason. Uh, it's not a good look. I mean, just think about it. This is probably, in my mind at least, this is the most relevant thing you've ever done since I was young and was would get home from school and be like, How, what, what is this shitty show? What, what are they going to put on the good shows? Seinfeld has its, its creative moments. I just wasn't into it. I was probably too young. Regardless, let's substitute light for mass. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in a crazy scheme... To be an effective military, the Nazis had radar or maps or some shit and could actually tell where London was without people having their lights on. Maybe. Just maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Also, substitute light for mask. So here's an entire article written by, you know, the government and the CDC talking about the efficacy of masks. But, you know, I guess go fuck that, right? Because we don't give a fuck. It's never been about actually acknowledging the truth or acknowledging reality. It really seems like the entire world all just bent the knee and played along with this masquerade so that the Democratic Party could get Donald Trump out of office. It's almost as if the Democratic Party got hijacked by a bunch of globalists. Why else would this be such a worldwide bullshit? Regardless though, the CDC backtracks on warning that coronavirus is airborne. Is the CDC doing this? The agency's unusual reversal comes as the country prepares for flu season and cooler weather that will likely drive many people to spend more time indoors. CDC backtracks on warning. CDC backtracks on how COVID is spread, raising fears of confusion. CDC removes guidelines saying coronavirus can spread from tiny air particles. How the fuck can you do this? How can you get away with it, CDC? How dare you? Because what you know what's going to happen? Or you want to know what's not going to happen? Nobody's going to apologize to all of the conspiracy theorists who predicted this shit from the get-go. They're slowly going to use it back and pretend like, no, you know, we didn't actually say that. That was you. We just asked you guys if you'd wear the mask. We didn't force anybody to. It's just a bunch of gobbledygook nonsense. I live in Texas. Everybody's going to bars and restaurants. The mask is such a minor formality. Only supreme cunts will stop you and tell you, hey, what the fuck? But it's literally like you'd have to go into a giant, like, maybe like a Walmart or Target. But even they, they'll have masks there that, that you can take. I was stopped from going into one one time because I just, I had my t-shirt with me and they wouldn't accept my t-shirt. So, I had to go back and I brought back a plague mask that I had for Halloween. I wore that and that was acceptable. But not a t-shirt. Heaven forbid, but then a week later I went back to the same target and they had free masks for everybody. So, I don't know. It, it's retarded. It's stupid. What, what do you think is going to happen? Are we going to hold people accountable for this shit? I think we should. I think the lockdown fucked over a lot of people. A lot more people than any, than any systemic racism ever did. Now, I don't, don't quote me on that. You could get me cancelled. But yeah, I'm, and I'm not saying anything crazy. I'm only saying what the CDC is saying. What the CDC has said. And I'll link to it. So don't, don't try to strike me down 
because there's a lot of other shit that I have on my mind I'd like to say, but I won't. And I'm sure that most people listening already know most of it. You can put the pieces together that the way this cookie crumbled, it's not organic. It doesn't make any sense. It's just, it's preposterous. It's silly. Ah, the CDC and the WHO, the literal who. Who are these people? Who are these unelected officials making decisions for the rest of the world? They're just shaming conservatives at this point. Because most, it seems like mostly conservatives are the ones who are like, wait a minute, no. I'm going to look this up myself. Okay, my research is telling me that it's inconclusive what you're trying to force me to do. And yeah, uh, yeah, there's so, uh, I, if I keep talking about it, I'm going to probably say something that'll get me striked. I, I don't want to get striked on YouTube. Uh, if only you would just give everybody a YouTube channel. And then threaten them with a strike. That'd be a lot more effective at controlling the population, maybe. Yeah. I hope you get regulated, YouTube, and CDC, and all these other unelected health officials, health experts, governors, whoever else participated in this bullshit. <clears throat> I hope you're held accountable. I really do. Because fuck you. You guys knew what the fuck this was. You took advantage of it. At best, you just took advantage of a situation, and at worst, you were complicit in spreading fear and fear mongering. So, suck my dick, health experts. And that wraps up today's little segment on the CDC and Clown World News. If you support this type of independent investigative journalism, you can check out the description below. Lots of ways you can support. Much love to all those who do. Shout out DBZ. Shout out Al Hayes. Shout out Angela. There's more. There's so many more. I'm going to maybe write a song about everybody who's supported me in the past. Thank you so much. Dion. Dion Jones. Helped me kind of create this whole idea. Ah, so take everything you hear with a grain of salt. Be a good person. Stay vigilant. Call your mom. Peace. <laughs>